hey guys welcome to civil engineer sadda so today we are going to learn how to add a new material in the ansys workbench uh, i'm going to teach you all the procedure uh, of adding all the materials entirely new material that's poisson's ratio engs modulus compressive strength flexural strength and density you don't find the flexural strength in the uh, default materials so we need to add it uh, separately from the custom properties i will also explain that so i will create one of, one of the material here these are all the material of different uh, compositions so let us go into the ansys workbench and uh, learn how to add the materials so first of all i will go to static structural so any one of the anal uh, analysis systems you can select uh, okay so once i fire once the system is ready just go into the engineering properties data properties engineering data properties and uh, by default i have concrete and uh, structures still already with me now i want to create entirely new material so guys you are going to see here click here to add a new material so just drop there and uh, create a new material so i will name that material as ccms as uh, given in the document uh, here guys just you can take a screenshot of these uh, properties and uh, try it yourself after the, after the video so the poisons ratio and all those things just see um, how i'm going to proceed uh, so once if i add the ccms material there is a question mark it means that the properties are still not added so now what i'm going to do i will just from the toolbox i mean from the physical properties list that you're going to see in the left side as my cur cursor is moving on here so you can see the density uh, just double tap double left left click double times on that so that material will get added uh, to the ccms properties make sure that the ccms is selected and then you uh, tap on the density so now you can see you got the uh, yeah you got a row of the density that's added now the next one is uh, okay we are done with density now we'll see about uh, adding the uh, angst modulus so coming back again so for that reason uh, to add the angst modulus there is one there is a drop down for linear elastic so you have to search for linear elastic so once you select that linear elastic in that particularly you have to select the isotropic elasticity you have to select the isotropic elasticity guys okay just once i double click on that so i will get the properties of x modulus my poisson's ratio is ready bulk modulus is ready and uh, shear modulus is ready guys so this is amazing actually so we are we have got rid of a density x modulus poisson's ratio and by default uh, using the x modulus and density the bulk modulus and shear modulus can be it will be calculated by default by the system okay so now we have to add the compressive strength and the flexural strength guys so just look over here so these are the properties i will later on add the values but i will just create the template for uh, adding the materials now so now i will just come to the strength so guys you can see the strength here so we are going to add the compressive strength now so what is compressive strength compressive strength uh, is the strength that it is the ultimate uh, strength okay at the Com compressive ultimate strength is the parameter that you have to select so there are various parameters you can see tensile yield strength compressive yield strength tensile ultimate strength but ours is compressive ultimate strength okay so i will just double click on that so now guys you can see that uh, the compressive ultimate strength has also been added now uh, we are left out with only one uh, parameter that is flexural strength okay so we don't have that uh, flexural strength uh, parameter in the uh, available uh, Uh, physical properties so we need to create that so you can just see here the strength pro pro uh, parameters or the properties did not ha have the flexural strength so for that reason what i'm going to do is just uh, just go down here guys you can the this step is very important uh, so you can see the create custom model you can see create custom model and uh, double click on that so wh what is the meaning of this uh, create custom model it means that uh, you can add the parameter which are not there or the properties which are not available in the list you can add them so name of that i would uh, say flexural strength okay so the type of uh, this is a user okay so you will keep it as a user because you are the person uh, defining that material 
and uh, now we go for the uh, model coefficients okay so that's the fixed value that i'm going to uh, use for this material you can write one here and now i can uh, i'll just copy the same thing name of that uh, i will write it as uh, ccms and uh, it's a it is having a dimension so it's not a dimensionless uh, it is not a dimensionless quantity it is having some dimensions guys so so for that reason what i will do is uh, say i will go to the strength okay this is a strength parameter so now we can see that there is a strength here so just select the strength so it is a either it comes in pascal mega pascal or giga pascal it's a strength parameter that i am going to have so what are the uh, diff, uh, model coefficients so the model coefficient is the same value here uh, that we can uh, do you can keep the value of the constant uh, uh, coefficient and the variable as the same thing so that uh, there is no deviation only for the one material so 3.83 is the flexural strength guys so 3.83 is the flexural strength so what i will do is i will just go here so so that is in mega pascals you can see that it is in mega pascal so i have to change uh, my unit here from pascal to mega pascal and write it as 3.83 3.83 okay so this is for show and uh, this is uh, done here so now what i will do i will uh, if there is any variable okay model state variables if there are any variables uh, then you can uh, keep it or even you can uh, just uh, copy this same thing and uh, make sure that uh, the same thing there is no variable actually this is a constant parameter now you can see then once you click okay now you can see that the flexural strength parameter or the model coefficients you can see that ccms of flexural strength 3.83 mega pascal has been added now let us uh, fill all the other values uh, that we have in the table uh, right now here so the density is a uh, 2400 kg per meter cube so by then we will go to here so 2700 kg per meter cube fine so now we have Young's modulus so i think uh, we have the Young's modulus in uh, mega pascal sorry giga pascal fine so we have it in 27.90 uh, giga pascal so just see that whether the giga pascal is there here no it's not there so 27.90 to 10 to the power 3 mega pascal 27.90900 so multiply the value by uh, 1000 guys so that will be converted into the mega pascal and uh, the poisson's ratio it's a unitless uh, quantity so which is uh, 0 0.17 so let's write here 0 0.17 done so automatically the bulk modulus and shear modulus will be calculated and uh, we have only one uh, value that has to be entered that is a compressive ultimate strength so let us see so the compressive ultimate strength is uh, 37.91 mega pascal so before entering the value just make sure you select the mega pascal here and uh, this is 37 point uh, let me confirm 91 okay sorry 37 point 37.91 mega pascal so guys now you can now we have seen that you have created a material that's called as a, a ccms with the properties of Young's modulus poisson's ratio density compressive ultimate strength and you also created a custom material uh, which was not existing in the physical uh, i mean the properties okay in the properties you created a custom model also so this is the one important thing that uh, many of the people uh, don't know actually so guys uh, thank you for uh, watching my video so similarly you can add the materials for uh, m12 sf so so many other materials also you can add in the same lines i am not going to explain that as it is a uh, it's clearly evident uh, i mean I, I i hope so i have convinced you how to add the materials uh, here and uh, uh, in the workbench so now you can uh, also give the source of that so what you can make is uh, you create an excel uh, folder of this uh, file you can create an excel folder of this file and uh, save it and give give the address here with some description you can give always give us some description here that let me give it as a beam so so for example it's a beam the file name is beam and uh, you can give that uh, reference okay you can give the reference of that fine so guys uh, hope so you have understood and uh, thank you uh, if you do like my uh, video please do subscribe like and uh, share it to your friends uh, so sharing is caring guys so meet you in the next video thank you